super exciting day because it is my cousin's pregnancy photo shoot and I get to do it. It's my first one ever so I am really really excited about it and I will uh, try to get some Im images from this shoot edited into a future vlog probably tomorrow's or maybe the next day's. Um, I, uh, yeah, I've never done a pregnancy vlog, but I have done family shoots and stuff, so I have some experience, and she likes my photos, so she asked me to do them. So that was super awesome, and I feel really honored for her to ask for that. And I have permission for the cutest little location here. In <coughs> um, and it's private property, so I didn't have to ask, but the guy was like, yeah, come on out. So I'm really excited about it, and I'll show you guys around later. But it should be fun. So stay tuned. You guys have a certain light in your city that you hate. I am definitely at one of them. Um, I have had to sit through two full rotations of this light because there wasn't enough people to turn left on my side. So they let the other side turn left. And then they let the through traffic go through. <coughs> and now I'm watching the other people go this way again. Thrilled. Um, so I've been sitting here for like two, two and a half minutes, which is... On, you know, this is a highway intersection, and normally you don't have to sit. And that's like you're far back in the line, obviously, but normally you don't have to sit for more than like a minute. But, uh, I find this, if I'm coming the other way, like from that direction, they always let those guys through. Because those guys are coming into town, and that's the bus route and stuff. The bus, the bus turns down there. Um, but, oh, there we go. Yay! But yeah, I find myself stuck at this corner quite often. So, it's a little bit annoying. But you know what? I have a vehicle and I can drive it and I don't have to walk. So we're blessed. Different car. Da, 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 da. Um, we're on our way. It's my beautiful cousin. And we're going to take pictures. I'm excited about it. Uh oh, oh I just burned all over myself. <laughs> Apparently we're stopping at Tim Hortons. Um, and yeah, yeah, got everything set up and I'm so excited. This is Ashtree Juniper, live on location. This is where we've ended up. Actually, this is where I chose. I asked permission. This is that I fell in love with driving past it every day from uh, work and stuff from school when I used to work out here. And it's super cute and it's just like rustic but not falling apart. <laughs> and we're gonna have a good time, right guys? Yes. Yes. I'm excited. It's gonna be good times. So you got a little box of supplies over here. All the stuff that we're gonna use. And yeah, let's rock and roll. That's a wrap on the outdoor shoot. It's a little bit cold out here, a little bit of, a little bit of an iceberg, but uh, they're worse off than I am, I'm used to it. <laughs> um, but it was fun, we had got some good shots, and now we're gonna go to their house because they got a big picture window that we're gonna put some sheets in front of and play around with that, and then we're gonna be done. Let's go into, go into the, I'm broken. My tongue's broken, you guys know that. Oh well, see you later. Hey, just got finished. Um, I think it went really well. It took a long time. We did. spent three hours hanging out with them. Um, normally a photo shoot does not and should not take that long, especially if you're being paid for it. Um, because nobody really has time to do that sort of thing for three hours. Everybody's tired and especially if you're working with like kids or something, then yeah, I don't go for three hours. Um, or husbands, especially husbands who don't care for pictures and because they get bored and grumpy pretty fast although this husband he he was pretty pretty good pretty good sport about it um he was tired and he got cold pretty quick but he did good good job and so i'm pretty happy with them she is thrilled with them so i just gotta go home and do a couple of touch-ups with the lighting and stuff but shoot i don't even know how to get back to my house <laughs> i keep missing turns um, yeah, it was really good though, and I had a good time, and I'm pretty sure she had a good time, and just good times all around. <coughs> I'm tired, and now I'm going home to do homework. Look at those two. Zach's just staring at CK over and over and over again. He was on top of him, like attacking him when I caught him, and now he's like, every time I walk over, he's like <coughs> slinking away, and then going back. I walk away. It's kind of funny. You sneaky cat? What are you gonna do?
What are you gonna do? Uh oh, notification. Meow. What? Oh, I'm so tired. It's good time, but I'm really tired now. Guys, tell me if anybody else's dogs do this, okay? When you walk outside, you know, your dog normally sniffs you or whatever. And blah, 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 and then he walks away, right? <coughs> does, he, does his nose touch you? Like, I feel like my dog's noses and their, like, smell acuity, like, magically disappears if their noses aren't glued to my body. Like, no matter what I'm doing or what they're sniffing outside or, like, whatever, if I have something interesting to smell, like, today there's a dog, um, at the house that I was doing the photo shoot at, uh, you know, Pomerini or whatever, and, like, they have to, like, nose stuck to butt or stuck to leg or wherever they can reach sometimes with Eric, it's right up to my stomach. And, like, all three of them, like, their noses have to be touching me. Like, dogs have, like, 10,000 more, like, smell sensors or whatever than humans do, right? I know that's not the right word. Um, chemoreceptors or whatever in their noses, right? <coughs> like, they should be able to freaking smell what they want to smell, you know, a good inch away from my body, maybe two, but no. If they're not touching my body, their sensory receptor smellness goes down. That was terrible English, but it, it honestly, it, like, if they're not touching me, it, like, somehow magically disappears and they have no idea what to do. It bugs me because when I'm trying to get stuff done, you know, tripping over two or three fairly large dogs because their no noses are glued to you, like, oh, it's so frustrating. It's so annoying. I hate it. <coughs> um, anyway, yeah, if your dog does that and, uh, you know, I'm not alone, let me know in the comments because I don't, I don't see other dogs do that and I feel like... Somehow I taught my dogs to glue their noses to people. And just, oh, it's just so annoying.